Well, what we have is a uh, GL1200, Honda Goldwing 1200, and it's probably the same for a few of these bikes. So we're trying to remove the rear wheel bearing, the rear wheel bearings. Now on the front wheel bearings, there's a uh, collar inside the, uh, between the two wheel bearings, there's a collar. And what you do is you stick this in there and you push that collar to the side and you're able to tap down on the uh, wheel bearing of the other side. On the rear wheel, you're not able to do that. So again, on the front, it's pretty simple. You don't need any special tools other than something like this, a long piece of metal that you stick in where the axle is. So there's an axle rod in there, whatever you want to call it. And it actually has a, uh, I don't know if it's a slot or something like that inside, but that rod that's inside, when you stick this in there, you push to the side and it has room to slide over. And so basically what you're doing is, uh, think of it if you're hitting from the other side, you're hitting the, uh, the rear, the front wheel bearing, like right about there, because the dowel, the rod that's inside moves to the side and you're able to bang it out. Once you got that out, you slide that rod out and then you come up and you would take this one out. On the rear wheel, it is not that simple. So this is a device that I had to purchase. Uh, I got it at Harbor Freight. I'm not sure if Northern Tool and Equipment has it or what other companies. But basically, these uh, pieces right here, uh, what is it called? Chrome bladed packed and sturdy. It doesn't say slide hammer for collets. Okay, so these are called collets. And I got the second largest one, which I believe is from 5 eighths to 1 inch, which is the one you would need. Okay, so basically you slide that in where you get the inner edge of the wheel bearing. You see it's in there. And what I have is, I have this little piece right here, that is grabbed on to the other side uh, of that little piece right there, of the inner, of that thing that's spinning, okay? And it's pretty simple, once you do that, you just start hitting that out, and it's starting to come out, I don't know if you can tell, but it has slid at least, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, maybe less, but it's on its way out for sure. Uh, so that's how I'm going to get it out. And once I have one side out, I can pull that collar out that I said is inside and bang the other one from this side out. So there's a collar in there. Think of it as a piece of pipe. And I slide that out and then I bang down. And that's pretty much it. So again, it's for a Honda, uh, the 1200, the GL 1200. And it's probably the same for a lot of bikes. I actually saw a British guy uh, who came up with a contraption similar to this that he made on his own. Uh, but this is sold at uh, Harbor Freight, and it's simple to do. All right, good luck.